after a little itsy bitsy pump immediately following the cooler than expected CPI print today that sent the bulls into a massive euphoria. A little itsy bitsy baby dump all the way down to the $26,000 range occurred immediately after sending the moon boys into deep despair, which was then followed by a bounce back to exactly where the price was before that. But what just happened is so big, and not nearly as big as why it happened. But what's even bigger than all of that? <laughs> you gotta check this out. Today, the bulls diddled the bears, the bears then diddled the bulls, and the bulls yet again then diddled the bears. It is truly one of the most biggest diddling days of the last couple of weeks for the Bitcoin price. And we're gonna be jumping into exactly what is going on in these charts and some other absolutely completely groundbreaking news as well. So let's start off with this breaking news. Top Abu Dhabi Royal has shorted billions of dollars in US stocks. This is very big. Gasoline uh, added to this massive fire here. The entire stock market basically becomes somewhat untouchable according to Tom Lee. If investors feel the FDIC, Fed, or White House needs to intervene in the banking system, which they don't really have a choice, they have to because of the Fed's aggressive rate hike policy over the past year. And the time is running out. I do want to highlight as well, the 2023 deficit is currently exploding still. For the first four months of 2023, the deficit was a whopping $500 billion. In 2022, the same time period had an had about an $18 billion surplus. Lower revenue and higher spending uh, is to account for this. And you know how is this gonna factor in to US, US markets? And also breaking news, New York introduces a bill to accept stable coins as a form of payment for bail. So that's very, that's a big W as, you could, as Vinny says here, uh, vinnymc.abc, very big, says on Twitter, he says big dub, big W. And let's mention again, Abu Dhabi for a second here. Bitcoin miner Marathon partners with Zero2 backed by Abu Dhabi's almost trillion dollar sovereign wealth fund to create the Middle East's first large scale immersion Bitcoin mining operation. Completely insane. Uh, guys, I mean, do you see what's going on here? Uh, so much innovation is leaving the US, specifically even going over to uh, the Middle East. And because they, they see what this technology and how much opportunity there is here. And uh, I think as I've been saying, as most people who are watching this know, the U.S. is making a big mistake and they literally need to turn around their policies like immediately if they don't want to risk getting left behind. It's already happening. It is already happening big time. And every day that goes by where they vilify crypto and they have the objectively wrong stance uh, on crypto, the, the worse it will be for the U.S., not for Bitcoin. But also, ETH Validate is earning about $50 million in a week as the staking rewards rate hits 8.6% after the merge, boosted by the meme coin gas fee surge. So basically, ETH Validators, people staking ETH, are making absolutely big, big buckaroos because of this whole meme coin phenomenon. And Bit Harrington on Twitter highlighting, imagine selling your precious Bitcoin one year before the fourth Bitcoin halving. Complete complete insanity in my opinion less than a year until the halving and people are still bearish i tweeted today that um it's very unlikely that you'll see a ten thousand dollar bitcoin it's not impossible in the same sense that you know if you rub your belly three times a big genie is going to come out of your belly button it's not impossible right a genie uh you know rub your belly a couple times i've been trying it all day actually hasn't worked. Uh, if you rub your belly a couple times and a genie pops out of your belly button and gives you a wish, you know, grants you a wish of whatever you ask for, that's technically not, it's not impossible. But is it going to happen? I, I'd say no. And I'd say the same thing for a $10,000 Bitcoin. It's not impossible that we get to $10,000. It's just very, very unlikely. Especially now. The reason I said that is because if we would rewind six months to a year, that was more in the cards because of how far away we were from the having, because of where we were in the cycle. However, where we are, if the four-year cycle is at all reliable, if there's any merit to the four-year cycle, where we are currently makes it very, very, very difficult for a $10,000 price drop to be realistic based on where we are. And that is another thing that this chart kind of highlights. In fact, that's exactly what it highlights here. Um, so with that being said, very bullish over the next year. It's literally, you know, the time to be going all in on Bitcoin is not when Johnny, Jimmy, Bobby, and, and Dilly down the street 
come knocking at your door and say, hey, have you heard about this Bitcoin stuff? I'm thinking about putting $1,000 into it. That is not when you want to buy Bitcoin. The time you want to buy Bitcoin is when everyone hates it and the smelly guys with diaper rash are leaving comments on your video saying Bitcoin's a scam, stuff like that. Um, so that is that is when you want to be buying. And I haven't seen too many diaper rash babies commenting on my videos, but every once in a while uh, I'll get a comment saying, uh, you know, Bitcoin's going to zero, stuff like that. And then I have to remind myself that people with less than five IQs still exist in this world. And I'm up about $19,000 on these long positions. If you're interested in signing up with BitGet or Femex below, take advantages of the massive bonuses below. In addition, if you sign up with Femex for a limited time, uh, you know, it just only started a couple days ago. If you sign up and trade specifically with my Femex link below, you can trade anything, you earn free XPT which can then be, you can do whatever you want with. So it's a free future exchange token that you can get and accumulate simply by trading. All you have to do is trade with the link specifically below. And uh, and again, like I said, you can trade anything to get free XPT. And the net unrealized profit loss chart or the NUPL uh, chart highlighted by CryptoCon here is very, very important if you want to get your head in the game and kind of understand where we are. It's easy to feel the Bitcoin rally is over, but the facts say that it's not. Every first stop, he says, for each Bitcoin cycle or the mid top reached the belief slash denial range with no exceptions. Many were feeling a recession was coming when the NUPO called for a bottom at about 15,500. And that's exactly also what I'm talking about here. You see the cycle bottom that we have put in currently at about 15,000, uh, where that is right here. Uh, for us to have a revisit of not only 15, because again, there are still people calling for 10K, for us to even revisit 15 is very, very, it, it, it fight, it's, goes against the data we have historically. You would need the only way, that's why I say it's not possible, the only way that that could happen is the biggest of black swans times five would have to happen for us to have something like that. So uh, with that being said, though, if we take a look at Bitcoin on this four hour chart, you can see what actually transpired. Uh, if we actually, let's maybe go down to the three hour chart. Yeah, this is, I mean, this was kind of crazy. In fact, uh, here we have Bitcoin pumping from about 27.6 up to about 28.3 and then dumping from 28.3 all the way down to 26.8 and then bouncing right back literally to where we were before any of this happened. Just in this exact same, literally in the exact same spot here. And that's very big. So you see, we've just been ranging here and uh, we had a massive swing up and down and now we're literally right at about 28,000. So the time this video gets uploaded in the short term, it probably will be at a different price. But here's what's really important. We still sit within the bone zone. On this five day chart, you can see Bitcoin still between 30 and 25,000, which is firmly within the, b the bone zone, okay? The thing about the bone zone is you don't wanna to spend too much time in the bone zone because if you spend too much time in the bone zone, things can just get very, very messy here. And we've been knocking on 30K for uh, basically uh, a month and a half. The 21 moving average sits for Bitcoin actually right at about 26,000. And we've actually seen how insanely strong 27,000 has been for support. In fact, if we, I mean, a little bit even above that, we haven't really gotten too much um, this is about 20, 27,005, and this is 27,000. So you can see, this is the past um, nearly two months. We've just been trading in this exact range. It's just mind boggling that we haven't made a move up or down yet. Now there is obviously potentially like a, a head, a kind of ugly head and shoulders, which as we've been talking about, could bring us down to the 23 to $25,000 range, but we haven't seen a confirmed breakdown of it yet. We're seeing inflation continue to cool we're seeing the possibilities of Bitcoin enter a state where we might see quantitative easing, easing again, which has only been bullish for Bitcoin in the past. So you have to think if this does, if this is gonna break down, it has to do it pretty soon. It's running out of time. I, I personally think this environment, the environment for Bitcoin currently can only be bearish. Like the window to be very bearish is just smaller and smaller. And so if you're looking at this objectively, uh, the longer time goes on, Bitcoin has a higher and higher chance of being bullish. And that window of you want a bearish breakdown, forget 10K. If you even want to get down to like 22K, we need to start breaking down fast, okay? If you really want to be bearish and you really want to short Bitcoin, if you're rational, you know you don't have like a huge window left. I would say like a maximum of like one, one and a half months of where we could really get 
any sort of breakdown. And that's even to only maybe get us to 22,000. So if you're talking about 10K, I just do not see a path right now. And that's why I say things would have to just, it would have to be some sort of absolutely insane breakdown. And this is evidenced also by this gigantic year and a half long falling wedge we continue to break out of. 30K is obviously a hard level to break, but that's why we've been here for the past like six weeks. Uh, actually, yeah. So actually about a pretty much an entire two months now. Um, and so the momentum for Bitcoin absolutely still exists. And we're right now, as we talked about, we're, we just got a bullish cross on the 30 day chart for Bitcoin. Um, now, how much different is that from the one month chart? We're a little away from that, getting the same cross, but you can see how tight these moving averages are, how we're getting this um, uh, almost touch of these tips, which we have never touched these tips before. We got really close back in 2016, but on this 30 day chart, these tips have never touched. And all I wanna let you know is that uh, if these tips touch, it could be massive. And make sure you take advantage of absolutely massive deposit and sign up bonuses with BitGet and Femex below. It takes 30 seconds to sign up, no KYC required. And uh, you get massive bonuses and free XPT if you sign up with my link below to Femex. Uh, this is only gonna be going on for a limited time, just a couple of months. So uh, a limited amount, very big opportunity there. Without further ado, it's free.